Okay, it's been a little bit of a crazy day because I spent a lot of yesterday preparing for an interview with Jason Berthold from RN74, formerly of French Laundry. Um, and then I was to follow that with an interview with Tyler Florence, which is a big deal. And then I got a call today that Tyler had canceled and could I do Jamie Lauren instead? And Jamie's from Top Chef. I'm totally psyched to do Jamie Lauren. I've been wanting to interview her for a while, but I had prepared for Tyler and Tyler stood me up. Jamie, like I know a little bit, you know, and then I'm like on Facebook, I'm like, hey guys, like who wants to tell me what they know about Jamie Lauren? And they're like, she loves hot dogs. <laughs> she loves hot dogs, yeah. I love it. She loves hot dogs and scallops. <laughs> All right, you know what, we're not gonna have the scallop discussion because that's just gonna piss me off. Do you serve hot dogs here? Yeah. I didn't know that. We serve hot to the upscale French brasserie. It serves hot dogs. So do you think that we could go in the back and make a hot dog after? Um, we can throw it on the grill if you want, yeah. You're like, yeah, we could make it. I mean, we're not gonna like make a hot dog because it takes forever. The hot dog's made here. Yes. That's why it's special. It's not like some No, I don't crazy I don't go and buy people. like Hebrew National and then like just put a that's not what I do. It's oh. it's all made in house. We make it with uh, beef, pork, and pork and bacon. There's bacon in the ground. Like okay, meat, I like, can't wait. Yeah, ridiculous. Oh, we're totally having one. And then okay. we make the sauerkraut. We make the mustard. We make the ketchup. We make everything. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Okay, should we go make that hot dog? Yeah, let's go. Make the hot dog. We're gonna go put the hot dog on the grill. <laughs> this is never gonna be the here. best hot dog you're ever gonna have in your life. It's a challenge. As I'm just gonna oil it a little bit so it doesn't stick. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie loves hot dogs. Oh, so isn't much. that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, people are just so funny around here. <laughs> yeah. Do you serve it? What do you serve it with? I'm to say that Jamie's cooking for me. Okay, so where do you get these buns from? The buns come from Acme. Of course they do. We make the mustard. This is a Guinness mustard. We make this here. And then the ketchup is a, uh, a chili ketchup. And the sauerkraut is pretty basic. It's caraway seeds, onions, salt, and a little bit of habanero. Just, just a little bit. Just a little. I love it. Yeah. I mean, you can't have a hot dog without potato chips, right? I mean, really? I was hoping. I was hoping she was so gonna say for that. me, I have this obsession with sour cream and onion pringles. So I got yogurt powder. I've got some dry dill and onion powder, and that's what these guys are. So basically, what happens here? Bring it on, Jamie. The bacon fat goes in the bun. Talk about what this means? I can't tell you what this okay. means because it's dirty. Okay. Oh. And we can't put that on the web. Excuse me. <laughs> What's well, not dirty? It's just kind of rude. A little sensual. Oh, it's a little no, rude. No, okay. sensual, no. No, no, no. Me, not sensual. <laughs> rude, yes. Dirty, yes. Crass, oh, yes. Rude. So it's all of those Jamie's things. Jamie's got something rude written on it. Don't really want it. Don't really want to be. Do your parents yeah. know what it says? Uh, no. No. Fine. But you know what my mother thinks it says, which is kind of funny? She thinks that I go into Thai restaurants and just point at my arm and, and say that I'd like to order this. No, she doesn't. And, no, no, she really does. So she says that it's just number 15, you know, like pad thai with shrimp or something, and that's what I want. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. I Do you just, have food in your kitchen? I, <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody ask you that, you want, Jamie? No, no, no. Actually, yeah. The only reason I actually have some of these things in my fridge is because I went to a barbecue on July 4th and all the, the residuals ended up in my fridge. Oh, that's fun. So, I have a package of hot dogs. <laughs> of course. I have a block of feta cheese. <laughs> a couple of slices of American cheese. Three, four bottles of vodka. And I'm not a lush. I swear to God, I'm not a drunk. I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. I have a 40 of Miller High Life. And then I've got some pickles, relish, hot sauce, and olives. <laughs> and a water filter. <laughs> That's what's what are we going to do with this? Oh, and, 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 barbecue and, after and, party? and a head of garlic and some flour tortillas. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take the tortilla, we're going to put the American cheese on it, wrap the hot dog in it, and call it a day. That's what we're going to cook. So whenever we do a quick she fire challenge that at my right house, here. that's what we're going to do. That's the kind of competition we're talking about. Amazing, right? Put some hot sauce on it. There we go. Well, how would you compare New York food scene to San Francisco food scene? Well, I think the San Francisco food scene is a lot more ingredient driven. Mm -hmm. I think the chefs here are really neurotic about where things come from and how yes. they ended up on the plate. And not just the chefs, Being but- Being friends with the cows the, and everything. Yeah, no, like petting them. And I know. Them and <laughs> like going yeah, to no, visit like them. Yeah, no, like giving them kisses. Like it's <laughs> ridiculous. Um, and 
the customers are too. Like I think people in San Francisco really expect to know where their food comes from, and I feel like New York is less about that. The San Francisco Chefs Food Wine Festival. SF Chefs Food Wine. SF Chefs Food Wine. I have to remind myself. I have to say so it over and, over and over. SF Chefs Food Wine. Um, am I psyched? psyched? Yeah, I'm super psyched. I'm doing a ton of stuff. I for know it. you are. I'm gonna be yeah. there, Jamie. I already said poster child. Following I you. am the poster child for SF Chefs. Um, yeah, I'm doing four events. Um, I, but you know what? I think it's really cool. I think San Francisco needs an event like this, and I'm surprised that there hasn't been something like this. Me before. too. Yeah. And you're at the Rising Chefs party Thursday, Thursday night. Thursday night, yes. Which so, I think is going to be really cool. you've been a Rising cool. Chef for a number of years now. Well, no, I've <laughs> no, see. <laughs> so tell me. So this little cook-off. I mean, yeah. you have, what are your, you know, what are your secrets? I don't. What is your? I don't see. Process? See, my problem when I go to these sorts of things is I don't think about it before I do it, and you then don't. I then I just do. And sometimes it works in my favor, and sometimes I get really stressed out and just start drinking. So it really just depends. I guess we'll see what I'm happens on Friday. I'm gonna come have cocktails with Jamie before. <laughs> well, no, see, here's the thing. The chefs are all over the place traditionally. Yeah, no, right? it's called ADD. <laughs> Tyler Florence has ADD. Yeah, I would have talked to him about that had he done the interview with me today. <laughs> I never knew that I had it until about two weeks ago, but my therapist said, I think you have a small, slight case of ADD. I'm like, really? That's what this is? I probably Jamie, thank you. You're welcome. Look at that. You get lunch, too. <laughs> is Tyler Florence going to feed you? Yeah. It is a good hot dog. Yeah. Do you know that? Yes. You know the thing that surprised me? When I saw you making it, I thought it was gonna taste like a sausage. But it doesn't taste like a sausage. It tastes, it tastes like, like a, a hot, hot dog. dog. Because it's a hot dog. Because it's a hot dog. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Jamie, thank you so sure. much. Sure. Anything else you wanna? Oh, oh no, I have one more question for you. Yes. If you could be a food, what could you be? If I could be a food, what would you what be? Would I be? <laughs> Anybody ever ask you that, Jamie? I would be an Eggo waffle. Why? Because there's all these little pockets like that you could stuff things into. <laughs> That's an interesting, interesting thing to say, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and she hugs. Mm. <laughs> Love it. Oh my god, I'm so glad we did this interview and not Tyler. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not in fact. Can't wait to meet you, Tyler. No. <laughs> we're totally, the, we're actually going to do an interview with me and Jamie and Tyler on Thursday night. Oh. Mark my That will be amazing.